Hello everybody! So we have the Maccabea games coming up soon and uh, I wanted to do a story time that would help pump us up and give us some ruach, some school spirit for this event. So the book I chose is by Andre de Grasse who is an Olympic medalist and he has a great book called Race With Me about the joy of running, about pushing yourself and doing the best you can. So this book, Race With Me, is by Andre de Grasse and Robert Budd and is illustrated by Joseph Osei Bonsu. When I run, I feel free. My name is Andre and just like you, I love to run. Running fast is the most fun thing I do. I prepare for racing every day. I train my body to be fast and my mind to be calm. There's a lot that goes into training, but I'm not alone. My coach watches my progress and gives me new ideas to try. My teammates and I inspire each other to keep trying, especially when things don't go perfectly. We are all friends and we push each other to win. I am so excited. Today is the day of the big race. I can feel the energy in the air. When we arrive at the stadium, it's very busy. There are thousands of people here and around the world getting ready to watch me run. When I was your age, my heroes were sports stars. I loved sports. Soccer and basketball were my favorites. I went to sleep dreaming that I was a famous athlete playing my best game in a packed stadium. I'm grown up now and I'm proud to be an athlete myself, but I have not stopped dreaming. Big dreams are important. It is my dream to be the fastest person in the world. My coach tells me the race is in an hour. As I walk toward my dressing room, I think about my first big race. In high school, my friend invited me to a track competition. I had not run a race for years, but I thought it would be fun to try something new. The other athletes were dressed in racing gear. I didn't have the right clothes, but I didn't let that bother me. Everyone got into position on the starting blocks. I had never even heard of those before, so I stood at the start like I was standing at first base getting ready to steal second. I told myself not to worry that I was different. When the starting pistol went off, I ran as fast as I could, and I won my heat. I had no idea I could run so fast. I realized I would not be in this stadium today if I had not had the courage to try back then. After I make my way into the dressing room, I put on my uniform and look down. When I see our Team Canada colors, I know I am not only running for myself. I am part of a huge team. My team includes you, your family, your friends, your school, your town, and the whole country. I love racing for Canada. I can, hear the, I can hear the crowd and I know millions of people are watching. When it's time to run, I know you'll be cheering me on with every step I take. Your cheers are my fuel. I take a deep breath and step out into the bright sun of the stadium. I feel your energy already. It's a perfect day to race. Everyone gets nervous. I don't let that stop me. I walk onto the track. The cheering is loud. I start feeling my butterflies. I remember the first time I got them. I had to give a speech in front of my whole school. I felt shy. What if I made a mistake and everybody saw? My teacher told me, don't worry about failing. Just do your best. That's what success is. And then in front of the whole school, I dropped my cue cards. Everyone started to laugh, but I didn't give up. I kept talking. When I finished, everyone cheered. I was proud of myself. I love that feeling. 
I still have butterflies, but now I know they just mean I'm excited to run. I jog over to where the race is going to start so I can do my warm up stretches. I need to make sure my body is ready. The crowd is getting more excited now. They see all the runners together. Next to the other runners, I'm often the shortest. You may think that to be a fast runner, you have to be the biggest, but that's not true. When I was your age, I was one of the shortest kids in my class. I'm still not very tall, but it doesn't stop me from trying my best. Being small does not stop me from having fun. I'm proud to be me. When I run, I remind myself I have a big heart. I'm strong inside. When I do this, I feel like a giant. It is time to get my mind ready. The race will begin in a few minutes. I walk to the starting line. I think about how fast I'm going to run and how much fun that will be. I think about when I was in school. I loved to play tag with my friends at recess. I would pretend that I was Sonic the Hedgehog. I imagined that my feet were spinning just like Sonic's. To me, nothing is better than moving that fast. When I'm having fun, I'm at my best. As I put my feet into position to start the race, I take a deep breath to calm myself down. When I practice, I pretend that I'm racing against the fastest runners in the world with thousands of people watching me. I tell myself, okay, Andre, you can do this. Then I run as fast as I can. I imagine myself winning. In my imagination, I win every time. If you hear the message, you can do it enough times, you believe it. I take another deep breath. I know I can do it. I'm ready to run. I crouch down at the starting line and I am totally focused on the finish line. The race will begin any second. Bang! The starting pistol blasts and I run. My feet are hitting the ground and my shoulders are pumping my arms forward. I feel like I'm gliding. I'm flying. I'm doing my best. I hear the wind in my ears and the beat of the other runner's footsteps. The world around me is a blur and I want to laugh. I'm pulling away from the other runners as I cross the finish line, just as I imagine. I feel the speed. This is so much fun. The race is over. I feel joy. Everything was silent for the 10 seconds I was running. Now that the race is done, I hear the crowd again. Wow. I look around the stadium and I feel all the people watching and cheering me on. I see Canadian flags waving. I know I did my best. No matter if I finish first or last, I am proud. I want to stay in this feeling for as long as I can. After the race, the first person I hug is my mom. I think about everyone who helped me get to this moment. My family, my friends, my coaches, my fans, and all the people who have encouraged me to be my best. I didn't do this alone. I am filled with gratitude. As I walk out of the stadium, people tell me that they felt like they were with me as I ran. I feel the love. I can't wait to do it again. For you, for me, and for all of Canada. I know you are with me. That is such an inspirational story and I hope that gives you some ruach and you feel like doing your best at the Maccabee Games on Friday. Alright everybody, have a great day. Bye!